Time is money. An Irish online exchange could provide the answer to the financial crisis. Many residents of Clonakilty in Ireland have little money, but they found a way to cash in on their time. Alison Roberts is a chocolate connoisseur. Her homemade confectionery is a specialty in Clonakilty, but instead of selling them for cash, she trades them for people's precious time. One box of chocolates is worth half an hour. She uses a website called Clonakilty Favor Exchange, where goods or services are traded. One favor is equivalent to 15 minutes. In a time of austerity and recession, it's kind of a bonus. It's for treats and it's for extra things and for special things that you might not normally do. And to get advice from experts and you know, just things that you might not you might not have the money for normally. And that's what the website relies on. All members offer a special skill, whether it's legal advice, cutting hair, or walking dogs. Everything is valued equally and measured by time. The digital exchange was the brainchild of Bev Cotton. His goal was to show the people of his town that everyone could contribute. The answers to the problems that we're facing economically are not coming from Dublin. They just the, the the solutions they're coming up with do not seem to be working or are likely to work. And it looks as if the solutions long term are going to come from local communities. They're going to come from people actually putting the effort to get businesses going or building communities or looking after each other. Every registered user of Clonakilty Favor Exchange can access the time bank to see the favors that people have collected or owe. They can also browse the skills that members have to offer, from baking and cooking to repairing computers. Beth Cotton administrates the time bag, but he also has his own skills to trade. He can teach English and help program websites. There's an extraordinary range of people uh, who are offering offering their time and skills. So, so a lot of the professions are, are registered, but also you know so many hobbies and, and other skills. It's it's all there. Over 150 Clonakilty residents have signed themselves up for the exchange. This southern Irish town has a population of 4,000, but more young people are moving to the city in the wake of the economic crisis. Konstantin Gordgiv teaches finance in Dublin. He specializes in alternative economic systems. It also creates an environment in which people who are unemployed and currently on their knees, psychologically, emotionally, and also financially, can gather up and engage in a community in a meaningful way. They don't feel that their talents are wasted. But there are limitations. It wouldn't suffice for building roads or running schools, for example. Projects like these would normally be funded through tax money, and a digital exchange doesn't allow for that. So perhaps Bev's website can't replace our current economic system, but it has plenty of advantages on a smaller scale. Liquidity is short in the community, people have low disposable income. That means, by the way, automatically they have more time. Therefore, they can actually, if you can take time and convert it into meaningful economic interactions, you in effect supplement the liquidity system which is starved of cash with something else. The Klonakilty Favor Exchange has been running for a year, and its members remain enthusiastic. The variety of goods and services is ever-growing, and exchanging them saves money. But more than that, many people enjoy the feeling of being a useful part of the community. It's brilliant. It's built a lot of community. We've made a lot of friends through it. It's been great. The Klonakilty Favor Exchange is a system which could be transposed anywhere. A digital exchange for Dublin is already in the works. <laughs>